Hi everybody, it's Amalia. I don't think anybody's going to be out there, but we'll wait a few minutes and see if anybody's out there. You can look at that for the time being and see if I can figure this out. Say hi if you're out there. I can't tell if anybody's out there, to be honest with you. You can hear me typing. <laughs> okay, let me turn that volume down. So you don't have to hear me in the background. All righty. All right. I don't know that anybody's going to be there. I'm doing this impromptu because I have attempted to film the video several times and it didn't work. So I'm just going to do this live and it looks like it works and I'm happy that it does. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep going. If you join in the live, please leave a comment and uh, let me know that you're here so I don't feel all alone. <laughs> Uh, I'm here with the 2019 Crafty Goals collab. This is uh, the report for November. Everyone's uploaded their uh, video recaps for the month of November. That's part of the Crafty Goals collab. And I hope you're joining, um, you're with us, joining us on your own, um, doing your Crafty Goals on your own at home. But if you'd like to join us, in 2020 we're going to be continuing the collab in 2020 and if you're interested in joining the collab uh, and doing your goals in a monthly video you send me an email at petunia10466 at, at <laughs> gmail.com and the deadline to join is going to be december 31st okay so uh, what I'm going to do is just going to recap my, goal, my goals for November. Then I'll talk a little bit about next year uh, as well. But I'll probably really do just a separate video on that. So click thumbs up. Leave a comment. Say something in the chat. And please have patience with me because I've never done this before and I don't know what's happening. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, here are my goals and my mark off sheets for uh, the 2019 Crafty Goals. And uh, my first goal for the year was to use up some of my 6x6 paper pads. Uh, I wanted to use up a minimum of five, and I have four done for the year, and um, I have been able to do four, and I started on another one in November. This is the one that I started on. It's called Mary from My Mind's Eye, and uh, I had started this paper pad a couple of years ago uh, with some other crafty projects, and so I had 16 full sheets left. And um, as of today, I have four full sheets left. And um, I've worked really hard on these cards. I've put a lot of effort and a lot of work into these cards. And uh, I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, uh, I did more embellishments. And um, so I'm super thrilled with them. And I can't wait till I finally kill that paper pad and uh, put up that video showing you all the... the <laughs> All of the cards that I made. I'm sorry. I'm watching myself <laughs> on on the video in um, and I look ridiculous with no sound on. But <laughs> anyway, so uh, and then one of my goals was projects made from my stash, and I was able to check off that gold last month. I'll insert a video uh, when this goes to video. Um, 
and I did three crepe paper watercolor projects. I'll insert that video when this is a recording. And then my next goal was a no by craft months and I had stipulated I wanted to do eight out of the 12 months of the year as no by craft months and that didn't work. So I decided to adapt and to change and to make it work for me for the remaining months of the year. And so what I've been doing is I've been logging all of my purchases. Uh, August was a big one, but uh, since August I've logged all of my purchases for the month and what I bought, when I bought it, how much I spent. And for the month of November, I did that as well. I spent a lot of time going around to Joann's and one, two, three, four, five. That's five different Michaels and it's all Patty Tolish's, Patty Tolly Parish's fault. Hi Patty. Um, because she introduced these on her channel to me and all of her friends and um, I had to go on around to every um, craft store that's in our New York metropolitan area and um, find everyone in stock. <laughs> I got one bottle of each color and here's just a couple of the colors. These are color shift paints Oops, oh, sorry about that. You really don't need the light. I've got some great light in this room. It's a southern exposure, so. Uh, it's color shift paint, and this particular one is called, my glasses are right on top of my head, it's called Orchid Flash. So these are color flash paints, and what that means is that they flash to different colors. You know, this one says it's orchid color, which kind of looks like a pink through the bottle, but it's got pink in it. It's got uh, orange, purple, the green has flashes. It has flashes of a, a whole bunch of colors. So I think I got anywhere from, I don't know, 11 or 14 of these. And then I also found a couple of others that I kind of liked and I decided to pick those up. This was uh, Dragonfly Glaze and uh, this one is called Rose Quartz. This is a metallic high sheen, extreme sheen kind of paint. And um, I'm going to get into more jelly printing and more mixed media stuff in 2019. So I had to go everywhere to find all the ones that I could. And then I went to the Deco Art website and they have more. Yeah, they have more there, more than what you can find in the stores. But I stopped uh, at just buying in the brick and mortar stores. I just bought from them and I didn't buy anything online and I'm so glad I didn't because I have enough. Uh, I have two drawers full of um, acrylic paints and uh, actually more than more than that because some have p spilled over into another drawer um, but I have no room for these to, to store away so I have to use them. Then uh, for Black Friday, I didn't use a, I didn't spend a lot on Black Black Friday. I kept filling up carts at various places. They kept trying to tempt me with deals and percentages off, but nothing really made me inspired me to hit that buy button uh, except for Tape Jungle. I needed some tape for my ATG gun, and there was something I wanted from Taylor Ex Tailored Expressions that I thought was uh, a good value and something that I had wanted, and so I did get those. So I'm tracking my spend and my intention is to do a kind of analysis at the end and figure out uh, I don't know what I'm gonna figure out but I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna analyze where I spent my money how I spent my money how much I spent what it was all about and and hopefully come up with a plan of action for 2020 on continuing my 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 desire to stop adding to my craft hoard and uh, using up my craft my craft hoard so um, this I don't feel guilty at all about. I think these are fabulous. Just had to say that. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. Thank you, Patty Tolly Parrish. You're fabulous. I always love your ideas. And, uh, another thing that I bought, speaking of Patty Tolly Parrish and her influence to make me go broke. No, not go broke, but just to, uh, <laughs> spend more than I intend, but I thought this was a great deal too. This is the We Are Memory, is it Memory Keepers? I don't know, who is this? Yeah, I think it's We Are Memory Keepers. Who are you? 
I don't know. Foil quill? Yeah, we are memory keepers. This is the foil quill uh, powered by a UBS cord and uh, it's basically a heat tool. This is the fine point right here and then this one is about um, a calligraphy tip and it's about an eighth uh, of an inch wide tip. Uh, they also supplied some foiling sheets and a little thingy of uh, washi tape. But basically this heats up and you can foil transfer uh, any of your marks or designs or writing um, onto your project with this. And she demonstrated it on her channel as well. Then um, she posted about a really great deal that HSN was having. Uh, it's $24.99 on HSN, which is a great deal because I think it retails for about $39.99. And then I used my Rakuten, which is Ebates. Um, I used that and I saved another $5. So I basically paid $20 um, for this set. And that was awesome. Uh, I'll leave my Rakuten link below if you're interested in joining. Uh, it's basically you buy whatever you want to buy online and you get a percentage back of what you spent uh, in cash. Good deal, no? You don't pay any extra for it, um, but uh, it's a great deal and I've used it for years on multiple purchases and it's always nice to get some money back. Um, so yeah, that's that. For the Split Coast Stampers, Brack, is anybody there? Please, if anybody's there, say hello. I see another person is watching. Hi, left-handed crafter! Hi! <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching. I'm babbling on. I was supposed to put up a recorded video, but I was having issues with it, so I decided just to go live. So thanks for joining me. Um, and so what I'm on now is uh, for my crafty goals for November. Uh, I send out birthday cards uh, to Split Coast Stampers. Um, members and uh, I sent out 14 for the month of November and uh, I am up to 117 cards for the year. My goal is just to make sure that I send out at the minimum of two cards a month for the Split Coast Tampers members um, just for when those times when you don't have the time or the supply to do it. Uh, and I think in December, I'm going to send out about, um, I don't know how many I'm going to send out because I haven't sent them out yet for December, but I did it for, uh, for the month of, so I'm right on track for that. For YouTube videos, I've gone ahead and checked that off because I tried recording this video already and it didn't work, so I'm doing it again. And uh, I set a goal of 45 for myself for the year, 45 videos on YouTube, and I did six videos last month, so I have met the goal at 48, and um, I'm thinking about what my goals are for next year, and I'm having some anxiety, actually, about putting a number towards this. Um, so I might have to rework how exactly I set up my goal for this. Um, Left-handed crafter, what's your first name? If I might ask, my name's Amalia, as it says on my channel name, but I'd love to call you by your first name if you don't mind. And if you do mind, I'll call you Lefty if that's okay. <laughs> Brandy. Hi, Brandy. I'm going to write that down because I remember things when I write things down. Brandy. That's a beautiful name, Brandy. So, Brandy, do you um, do any goals? And do you do any um, uh, crafty goals for yourself or for the year? Um, if you'd like to join this collab next year, you let me know. And, um, yeah. You do do goals. That's cool. So, um, you know, let me know what you do and how you, how you plan and what your, what your reason is for doing goals even. And, and I'll keep going, uh, for my videos, but I'm really conflicted of, I, I, I do want to do YouTube videos. I do have a you know, an idea that I would like to have, you know, to do this, you know, but um, this, the number causes me some sort of like anxiety. 10 for 10. Signed up for my 10 for 10. I'm not sure what, what you mean by 10 for 10. Um, I'm just doing the goals collab next year. I may be doing a swap 
uh, next year, but I haven't finalized plans for that. It might be another, it might be another channel. Um, but this is totally about um, setting your crafty goals. So, you know, you're a crafter, you will know 50 collabs, then COPA happened. Yeah, you signed up for 50 collabs, <laughs> then COPA happened. Well, uh, I'm not worried about COPA because my channel is not monetized, so I don't think it's going to be an issue for me. And um, if it does become an issue, I guess I will deal with it at that time. But COPA is really about the monetized channels. And, um, you know, it's about the ads that they show on those channels. And uh, if you're a monetized channel that shows ads, then that's how COPA is involved. So I'm not at a point where I can monetize my channels. I need like 6,000 minutes or hours, I think, of view time. And I'm like at 1,000. <laughs> I, I thought I had more, but uh, I don't know. That's just how it is. And so that's not gonna, it's not gonna affect me. Um, and, uh, and I really love uh, doing YouTube. I love the YouTube community. I, I love the crafters in the community. And I know a lot of people are nervous. Um, uh, you know, I, I don't wanna be reaction or reactionary. Uh, so I've watched a couple of videos on it, I've talked to a couple of people, and, you know, I just love this community. I love watching YouTube videos. I, I love the crafty community especially, and all the collabs that everybody's doing. So, um, I'm hoping that it really is the way I think, and it really won't affect me as, uh, as a creator, I'm, I'm here, you know, I would love to take advantage of the money that's available to YouTube creators with having a monetized channel or doing promote, uh, promotions or, or, you know, whatever all that is about. But for me, this is about um, creation and creating and sharing. That's like the main passion that really what, what gets me about doing the YouTube videos. So, um you know when i have the opportunity to be monetized uh, i'll take i'll take another look at it we'll see um but uh you know people shouldn't be so so reactionary you know maybe the people that are deleting their channels don't get uh don't aren't monetized yet so they should you know maybe chill out or be more informed i don't know um but i don't I don't want to lose this community, that's for sure. So, um, so yeah, I'm kind of conflicted about what I should do for, for YouTube videos. So, um, I'm in the house mask collab this year, and I've, I've stuck with that. I made, this is the project that I worked on for my house mask collab for the month of November. This is the first time I've used colored pencils. And uh, it was a set of Crayola colored pencils that I used, so student grade or children's grade or whatever grade that is. And um, I'm glad that I went into it and that I used something that I had in, in my supply, but um, I, I don't particularly care for the waxiness of this pencil, these pencils. And I didn't do any blending. I didn't do any blending with a Gamsol or baby oil or Vaseline, which some people have recommended. So I just, you know, blended and used the, the pencils to create colors and shading. And again, I found the pencils very waxy and difficult to do blending and shading with. So, um, so I'm glad I used them, but I, I may venture into a more artistic set. Yeah, I've heard baby oil. I've heard baby oil. And um, so I may venture into a more artistic set of pens, but I'm not really, you know, I'm not rushing out to the store to do it because I have other plans for mixed media. For um, 2019, I really want to get into more mixed media work. That's why I have all these lovely paints. 
So, and much more in my stash, of course. So yeah, that's my house mask project. Again, I'm glad that I uh, used the colored pencil that I had and um, I don't know that I'll ever need to use them again. I may decide to, to donate them or, or something. I know, I love the coffee mice too. Hi Deb, thanks for joining. I saw your video this morning, thanks for posting. I am doing a live because I was having issues recording my video and so I said, you know what? I'm gonna do it live. So thanks so much for joining. Uh, and I've gone through what I've, I'm at so far for my goals. I was just talking about the house mask collab. I've done that for racks. Um, for racks, let's see what I've done for racks. Oh yeah, I checked that off last month for racks. I think I sent something out in November, but I really don't remember and I'm not tracking it since I've already completed the goal. So uh, here we are for classes taken. And again, I checked that off last month. I still need to finish the um, Sandy Alnock uh, follow along watercolor class. And um, uh, I haven't done that, I just have one more project to do, but I still had completed three um, anyway. And I signed up for another one of her classes. If you go to art-classes.com, art you'll find Sandy Alnock's uh, classes there. She's an incredible artist. She's a crafter but she really knows her stuff i mean she does, makes cards and does crafting and videos for companies that do crafting but she's she's an artist and she's she's amazing and she's a good teacher i've learned a lot just from her videos here on youtube so i have wanted to sign up for her class for for a while all year <laughs> and uh, i finally did it today as a matter of fact so watch for that in 2020 and uh, it's a Copics class that I signed up for. Can you hear that? I, I think there's elephants upstairs that are um, grazing or something. Can you hear that noise? Uh, <laughs> um, so, okay. So today, I'm here today with my recap for the Crafty Collab for November. Uh, the last uh, video recap will be January 4th, the first Saturday of the month. And then um, we'll start in the 2020 collab. Uh, I sent out my themes email. Actually, in October, I sent out the themes email. You didn't hear the elephants? Good. I can hear them. <laughs> um, somebody's moving furniture upstairs. It's probably my mom sweeping the floor. Um, so uh, when I send out my themes email every month, I actually, in October, since I know it was going to be such a busy end of the year and people may not be able to check their emails so qu quickly or I might not be able to send out an email. I sent out the remainder of the themes for the year uh, in my email um, and uh, I did manage to send out an email uh, Thursday to everybody on the collab team uh, to remind them about the um, theme and for the next set of videos. Uh, so that's all on progress and show us your sheet load with Alicia from call me crafty Al is um, She did provide um, a sheet load um, Worksheet for November and I made 16 cards. So I'm at a total of 67. My goal was 84 Alicia took a break in September. So there were no cards made because there was no new sheet load but she did provide a sheet load for the month of December and um, to meet my goal, uh, it's a sheet load to make 12 cards, but to meet my goal, I'll have to make 20 cards. And uh, I'm going to do the sheet load, but if I don't, if I decide I don't want to make those six extra cards or eight extra cards um, and I only make the 12, and that's fine if I don't meet the 84. My intent really was just to participate in the sheet load every month. So uh, that's what I'm doing. Do you guys know about um, Alicia Call Me Crafty Owls uh, sheet load? Uh, leave a comment in the, uh, the live chat and I'll take a look and see if you guys know about it. And um, I also wanted to, you don't know about it, Brandy? Love her sheet load, right? 
Randy, if you go check out Call Me Crafty Al, or actually, um, you could even do hashtag sheetload in the search bar, and you'll find videos uh, from everybody that's participated, basically, in the sheet load uh, that she puts out. But Call Me Crafty Al, um, her channel, she puts out, um, it's basically a card map with the details and measurements and all the all the basic information that you would need really to create uh, a bunch of cards from uh, from sheet loads of 12 by 12 paper. So if you check her out, you'll be able to see what that sheet load's all about. Yeah, sketches, yeah. It's, it's a little bit more than sketches. Let me see if I can find. I'm gonna see if I can find, here it is. <laughs> I've got things hidden in a whole bunch of places. This is the one for December. So it's a sketch and supply list. Yeah, it's a sketch and supply list. It shows you all the supplies that you need, gives you alternatives for design. And then on the back side of um, the PDF that she provides, to her subscribers is the cutting guide, uh, how many, you know, all the details that you need. So she kind of like just gives you all the information. And this was last month, that was November. So it's really, it's really been great. It's been inspiring, it's been helpful. And so I, I started in, I think it was June when she started hers. Paper is my weakness too, girl. This is free or a monthly fee? It is free. If you are a subscriber, she provides a link um, in her videos. And she doesn't, it's the honor system kind of thing. She doesn't check if you're a subscriber, but she provides a link in her videos where you can get uh, the templates. And, um, but you know what, if you like them and you use them, it's easy enough to subscribe so that when she posts a video and when she posts the new one every month, you can get on it and get it from her. So, um, and she does card making videos and paper is my weakness. That's why I have a six by six, you know, kill a pad goal on my, uh, on my monthly goals. I have more paper than anybody could ever use and I don't need any more paper. How about you? Great. Thanks for sticking with me, Brandy. I appreciate it. Someone else is here. We have three people and I see that Deb is here and Brandy is here. <laughs> we must be sisters. <laughs> sisters in paper, that's for sure, right? You did? I hope you got a good deal. <laughs> Hope you got a good deal on the papers that you bought. <clears throat> That's another problem I have. I can't pass up a deal. Uh, you know, but how much of a good deal is it if you are buying stuff and, um, you know, you end up storing it at your house instead of at the store? You know, you buy stuff and then it doesn't get used for a couple of years. You put it away because you're you're nice and neat and clean and you want to be organized. And then a couple of years later, you're going through your stash and you're like, I didn't know I had this. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I've been, I'm trying to downsize my paper too. How about buying a paper pad when you need it? Now there's a thought. <laughs> I don't care if it's a bargain or not. How about buying it when you need it? So you pay you pay like $5.99 for a paper pad or if you have a coupon or a discount, maybe you get it for $4 or $5 and then you buy it and then you use it instead of getting one for $2.99 or three or four or six for $2.99 or buying the hot buy paper pads, which are amazing at five dollars a piece when you can get them for five dollars a piece but buying all those paper pads and then they kind of just sit there and they mock you and and you can hear the voices in the background going use me i'm here i'm waiting for you to use me and uh and yeah and they sit in your 
in your stash. Hi Paige, how are you? Welcome. I'm doing my Crafty Goals live because I was having issues recording it, so I decided to do it live. Thanks for joining. Um, and so we're at, right now with my Crafty Goals, we are at, where am I? Oh, I was at Show Us Your Sheet Load. So, uh, yeah, I'm on track for that. And uh, for extra collabs, I marked that as done. And uh, I did one in November with Beth. Beth from Bourbon Creek Crafts. And um, she had one called a Crafty Christmas Collab, which was one a week for four weeks in November. And that helped me out a lot in using up my paper pad. Um, <clears throat> I've done a couple of projects with this paper pad. I, ooh, 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 sorry. I've done a couple of co projects with this paper pad. Uh, I've done uh, Alicia's Show Us Your Sheet Load, and I did the Crafty Christmas Collab with this paper pad. And I have that much left. Let's see if you can, you can tell. So that's thin, right? But here's what it was originally. It's pretty good. Ooh, ooh, can you see? So I've done a pretty good job getting through this paper pad. And I'm very happy about it. And speaking of that paper pad, in those videos in November, uh, I let everybody know that I had uh, an extra pa paper pad to give away, and uh, I did the giveaway last Sunday, but I did it by myself. I didn't film a video or anything, and the comment winner that I picked was Paige from Stamp Girl. Hi, Paige. Uh, I have your paper pad packed up and ready to be mailed out. I just have to get to the post office. I have a bunch of stuff that needs to go to the post office. So I haven't mailed it out yet, but I am preparing to do that. I'm ready to do that. And so you notice that I had, I had that, that paper pad. Yours is already packed up, Paige. <laughs> yeah, so I was looking through my stash. I knew I had this. And um, then I started looking through my stash for stuff that I could use with this paper pad. And then I found a duplicate paper pad. I was like, wow, I have two. Okay, well, you know, I didn't really need two, but that's okay. And um, then I found a third one going through my stash again. <laughs> Three of the same paper pad. Now, I know people duplicate stuff, but three of the same paper pad. So the paper pad that you're getting is already packed and ready to go. I'm not sure what I'll do with the second duplicate <laughs> of the paper pad, but yes, three page. Yep. <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, oh. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so, uh, so you get one. <laughs> I get one and I don't know what I'm gonna do with the third one so maybe I'll just hold on to it or maybe maybe I'll, I'll break it up into uh, four six by sixes and send them out uh, as a rack I don't know um, but uh, yeah so I participated in Beth's um, crafty Christmas collab in November and I'm done. I don't think that I'll do any more. If some come up, maybe I will. I'll just judge my time and my and my desire to do it. So those are my my goals for November so far. Out of the 11 that I have, this is me just listing some of the projects that um, I'm doing. You know people with five or six of the same pad? <laughs> oh my God. Is that six by six pads? Because... Um, I do have a paper pad that I have at least five or six of in a six by six, just so you know. <laughs> 
I have plans for that. And I got them, of course, for a really good deal. Like a super good deal. Uh, but I actually have plans for those. Uh, so hopefully next year I will put that plan into action to get them used. So, um, yeah, and those are six by six paper pads. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are some of the projects. I did like five or six polymer clay projects. Uh, I participated in a swap at Split Coast Stampers for two different um, things. I sent out 133 cards to Gracie21 here on YouTube. If you could find hot cocoa by American Crafts, you'd have six or more. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Am I still live? I can see the little swirly thing going around. Say hi if I'm still live. <laughs> Uh-oh. Brandy, are you enabling her? Brandy. <laughs> Come on. All right. Uh, so yeah, I sent out 133 cards to Gracie21 for uh, the annual um, fundraiser that she does. And uh, check out her channel if you want to find out more about that. So I have been... You know you're going to send it. <laughs> uh, so I know that Deb and Paige are in my collab and they're joining me for next year. I've done some some work on planning my goals for next year. I, actually, I've done a lot of work. I, I spent an entire day just working on it and thinking about it and that was way too much time, I can tell you that, because at a certain point I was uh, so worked up and had, <laughs> like I, I gotta stop because I'm having anxiety issues over this and um, you know, that's not a good idea, so. So I stopped, and but I did a lot of work on it, and um, if you're interested in joining the collab for 2020, send me an email at petunia10466 at gmail. It's gonna be a year-long collab, one month, uh, one video per month, just detailing your progress, an initial video at the beginning telling people that you're in the collab and what your goals are, and then each month doing a recap of your goals. And, um, yeah, so I did a lot of, a lot of work on it. You know, I was writing things out. I was preparing my chart. Uh, it's in pencil so that I could erase and rewrite and erase. And, um, yeah, I, and, you know, I was trying to figure out, like I did with this year, you know, I wrote down... This year, I wrote down what my goal was, like how many did I, what did I want to do? I want to use my, my, my stash. So in the theme of using my stash, how many paper pads do I want to use? And I wrote down five and, and et cetera. So I used numbers. Uh, she did send me an email page, just so you know. Um, and Kim... Kim from Kimber's Creations also sent me an email. And I think one other person also did reach out to me. And I just can't remember their name. Or I'm imagining that other person. Could be one or the other. So, um, so it's good to quantify your goals. Um, you know, know what you want to do. Know Ask yourself what your who, what, where, when, how, and why of why you even want to set goals. You know, uh, I wanted to use my stash, so I said I want to use my paper pads. Well, how many paper pads do you want to use? That gives you that gives you an idea of you know what to shoot for. So if I want to use up my six by six paper pads, I could take a single paper pad and use the whole year to work on it. But that's not going to be, you know how I really want to work my goals. I want to work my goals because I have a ton of paper, six by six paper pads that I want to use. Uh, and when I mean a ton, I mean not exactly weighing a ton, but you know, I probably have at least 20 
maybe 30 six by six paper pads that I could totally use up. And uh, so that's why I set up a number and I didn't make the number 10 or one six by six uh, paper pad a month because they take a long time. They take some time to go through and um, you know, I want to, I want to create something and not put that tremendous amount of pressure on myself. And that's why I was having issues with saying to how, what do I want to do in terms of videos for next year? Well, do I want to increase the number of videos I do? Well, sure. You always want to increase. You want to do better than, than you did before. Yes, she is. She's doing that collab on a six by six next year. And I told her to sign me up for that. And I like the way she's doing it because she's not making it, you know, you have to complete a paper pad a month. Uh, she says, whatever you do is what you do and just you're going to show what you've done. So technically I can take three months to do a paper pad um, or I can try and do it in that month. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to set myself up to do more more than I actually can. She's also doing a, a jewelry collab uh, for 2020. I had her sign me up for that because I know how to make jewelry. And um, I would love to get back into doing that because I have a ton of stuff to do that. <laughs> As lots of us crafters do. So, did you sign up for her 6x6 six six and her jewelry collab page? Just wondering about that. So yeah, so uh, I don't want to put that pressure on myself to create a certain amount of videos. Uh, what I would like to do, what speaks to my heart, is um, maybe doing more lives. You know, I only have four people watching, but that's fine. <laughs> I can handle that. Okay, not for the jewelry one. Who knows, maybe you'll sign up for the jewelry, jewelry one after you see a couple of them um, done. Because I'm intending, you know, along the lines of my YouTube videos, I want to do some more lives. I would like to try doing premieres. You know, I'd like to take advantage of what YouTube has to offer. So I definitely want to do more lives. This is my first live. Everybody thumbs up for my first live. Woo! <laughs> and um, what else do I want to do? I'd like to do more tutorials. Uh, a friend of mine who uh, is not into paper crafting, she, she's done scrapbooking back in the day, but uh, not into paper crafting per, per se said that she wants to see more tutorials on my channel. And I'd like to do more tutorials. They just take a little bit more work in terms of the thought process. <laughs> okay, thanks, I will. <laughs> uh, it takes, to do a tutorial takes a little bit more in terms of, first of all, the thought process that you have to put into while you're doing the tutorial, in preparing and planning for the tutorial. Um, so, so yeah, but I want to do tutorials, I want to do more lives, I want to do um, maybe some premieres. Premieres are just when you have a recorded video, but you publish it at a certain date and time, and everybody goes at that date and time, and you can lo chat live while the video is going on. So, I think that would be fun. Um, and so I've set, I kind of worked that into my goals. Um, but, but, um, but the number freaks me out a little bit. That's what gives me anxiety, right? So I did 45 for this year and I was able to do that. Uh, and I think I could do 45 again next year, but I don't want it to be about the number. I want it to be about the content, right? So, and for me, the number was about really getting into the groove of, of doing more videos because I've had this channel for nine years. I started out on YouTube and all I was doing was uh, creating playlists. I would see videos that I liked, crafters, projects that I liked, and I created a playlist um, of, you know, projects. Oh, this is my embossing playlist. This is my thinking inking playlist. And this is my this playlist and that playlist. And they were all just basically, it was like my Pinterest board of ideas and I did that for a couple of years until I did my first video
and um, when I did my first video it was it was basically just me at a crop and I took like a 30 second video of everybody in the room and then I did um, I did a scrapbook for my niece for um, I think I gave it to her either on her birthday or Mother's Day and her birthday often falls on Mother's Day so uh, it was for the first year of um, of life for her then baby who is now her seven or eight year old son <laughs> um, so I did that for her and um, and that's kind of what got me started I did a couple of hauls videos because you know you know I love my haul videos uh, and um, so so I don't know if I want to stick to numbers again I just wanted to keep it about the content and the type of content that that I do uh, after all this time uh, you know after I did the haul videos or whatever there would be like months where I wouldn't post a video and extended periods where I didn't post a video and I wasn't you know I, I didn't care I didn't you know I just wanted to be part of the community and and do videos I thought if they can do it I can do it so that's why I was I was in it so I've uh, I've written down you know some of the ideas for the goals and again I've done it in pencil so I can erase and rewrite and I wrote numbers down, but then I erase them because I get all anxious about it. And you know what, um, Brandy, you're exactly right. Hi, CB. <laughs> Hi, CB. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing a live. I know. Watch out. I'm going to be doing more of these. And I'm just talking about my goals, CB. How are you doing? Did you get out of your, your cast yet? Tell all the tell all the ladies from Maryland so they can join us. So, um, Brandy, you're right. You need your, you need to figure out what you want to do, and a great way to do that is just ask yourself, uh, ask yourself the questions: the who, what, where, when, how, and why. The most important one is why, obviously. Another important one is what. What is it that you want to do? Um, and and who are you doing it for and uh who what where where are you gonna do it you know just ask yourself those questions and then literally write them out just write those questions out i do it every year here's here's the one that i did for 2017 this is what i want i want to use my supplies i want to create because i enjoy it it's relaxing it's joyful i want to share what i do with others i want to share the joy and um it was about community because i enjoy creating when it doesn't have to be done all at once maybe i'll track my progress monthly right so i wrote out all those things i created themes for myself to sort of help me track what i wanted to do um and help me in my plan to use things up your cast is off that's great oh no your husband <laughs> the two of you <laughs> Oh no. So is he is he in on crutches? Uh poor thing. I'm sorry to hear that. He'll he'll be okay though. We're going to I'm going to send you prayers for patience and uh and him prayers for healing, okay? <laughs> Um, so yeah, Brandy, ask yourself those questions and, and answer the questions for yourself. And I think that'll, that'll help you. So this is how I've been working on my goals other than asking myself those questions and writing them all down here. Um, uh, I also created a PowerPoint <laughs> for myself just so that I can, I can work on this when I'm, uh, when I have some downtime. And, um, you know, these are some of the things I want to do. I want to take some classes. I'm going to do, I signed up for Sandy's, Sandy Allnox Cupic Hex Chart class. I want to do another watercolor class with her. I got this memo about a year ago about a pearl class. And it's pearl, like pearl beads. And, uh, uh you know, if uh, Patty does the Maryland Art Weekend again, I'm definitely signing up if she'll have me. Uh, I heard about something called the Art of the Carolinas. I'd love to do something like that. Um, I want to get into more polymer clay. 
Uh, a friend from Maryland showed us some of her projects in Shrinky Dink uh, jewelry, and it was fabulous. And I would love to get into that, but I don't know if I'll really have time to do that. No, they said it was in line and a boot would do. Patience appreciated. Oh, that's glad. I'm glad it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't too bad. So uh, yeah, do you guys know of any other um, like classes out there? Art of the Carolinas is kind of. I think it's kind of well known. Uh, at least amongst the people that, that I'm familiar with. Um, so do you know of any other, any other time of the year where there may be some artistic classes? There was one a few years back, like uh, Eat Cake, Eat Cake Create, or something along those lines, and they would come to Connecticut and I really kick myself for not taking advantage of that because I work in Connecticut and they were there one year with some really cool projects that I totally wanted to do. And, um, but I haven't heard from them. I haven't heard about them since. And I think that they're not, I just think they're not doing it anymore. And some pretty well-known um, clay and... Um, uh, jelly plate and uh, acrylic artists were were doing that so if you know of any leave a comment let me know what you what you know of uh, some rewards I might get myself for accomplishing my goals that's there uh, some projects I want to do next year um, so I send out racks just random acts of crafty kindness occasionally and I always want to like decorate the envelope but you know if I wait to decorate the envelope before I send them out they'll never go out so uh, I'm gonna get more into mixed media next year I want to do more jelly plating you may have missed it Carol but um, I showed some of the paints that I got I went to five different Michaels to get these paints that uh, our friend Patty turned us on to and uh, these are just five of the 11 or I don't know 14 that I actually picked up yes and guess what if you go to artdeco.com they have more colors <laughs> more than what they uh, are stocking in the um, in the craft aisle <coughs> excuse me but I stopped myself from ordering all of them online and decided just to buy the ones that I could find in the store. So I'm planning on doing more mixed media next year. Definitely more, <clears throat> excuse me, polymer clay. Um, jelly plating for sure, printing. I wanna do some, some uh, work in art journals. Uh, I may sign up for Sandy Allnock's drawing class. Uh, because I want to come up with a logo for my channel and um, I have it in my head that I don't know how to draw so maybe I'll take a drawing class with Sandy I've taken drawing classes before at like adult ed <clears throat> type things but uh, I don't know they didn't work out <laughs> Uh, so I have all the collabs that I'm into underneath this post-it note is some of the ones that I want to do um, on my on my channel uh, for 2020 but I don't want to announce them ahead of time in case I don't do them I am planning on doing some swaps a couple of people sign up to do the swaps um, some of the other things I want to do how do I how do I populate the same template in each video so like if I want to put the same information in the description bar of my video or the description section of my video without having to do it every single time how do I do that maybe there's no way to do it I don't know and then underneath here is some other things that I want to do I'll tell you one of them is I want to create um, a class uh, I already have a class that I created in collaboration with a fellow uh, Wilton Method instructor. We did this many years ago. We got together, 
we came up with a project and we worked out a class including the notes and the supplies and the techniques and and etc to do this class and the class was how to create a cornucopia cake so a cornucopia is basically a horn shaped basket so it's got a point that it comes open and it's filled with the plenty of the harvest of the fall season and so we wanted to do this in cake form so we have this class uh, done and uh, uh, and I, I've taught the class once or twice copy and paste yeah yeah Brandy I think that's pretty much the only way <clears throat> but I have to do it <laughs> Um, so the cornucopia class, uh, I would like to do it in a video. Uh, I also want to maybe take it to Michael's and teach it as a class in Michael's. But I just heard that Michael's now is, you could teach a class at Michael's if you want to. So if you have a skill or a method or a technique or some sort of crafty thing that you do that you would like to teach to other people live and in person, Yes, that's that's my idea as well, Paint uh, Brandy. I just have to do that, and and then copy and paste every time. <laughs> <clears throat> so it's on my list of to dos, and uh, and I'll figure it out, and then I'll, it'll probably have to be the copy and paste, just like you said, and then I'll do it. Um, so anyway, if you want to, you can. Uh, teach a class at Michael's. You have to do a proposal and that all you have to do is say this is what the class is, this is what it's about, uh, this is my fee for the class, uh, minimum of this many students. But I just found out Michael's, whatever your total fee is that you garner for the class, Michael's takes, get this, 30%. 30%. Okay. So I didn't like that. Uh, but, you know, what the hell am I going to do? <laughs> so maybe I'll do it at Michael's. Maybe I won't. I really enjoy uh, teaching live classes. Uh, I taught live classes for 17 years as a Wilton Method instructor. I've met so many awesome people and got such a great experience. You teach at Michael's, Deb? Is what I'm saying accurate? Uh, because I got it off of a, a Facebook page for former Wilton Method instructors. So if you can provide any feedback about, um, you know, what it's like uh, now teaching at Michael's. I taught for, again, 17 years as a Wilton Method instructor at Michael's. So. Exactly. If you're bringing people into the store, they're going to buy supplies there. And believe me, uh, you know, I know how to sell my supplies. Because <laughs> I'm a craft hoarder. <laughs> Uh, I amen uh, CB absolutely so um, so yeah so I'd love to hear your feedback on if you care to share it with you can send it to me in an email if you like or you can share it um, in the live if you like as well yeah that's why we all hang out together we're all like-minded hoarders <laughs> of craft supplies uh, so that's one of the things I want to do. Um, uh, I have been really enjoying the polymer clay that I learned how to work with this summer uh, in Maryland. And I've created a couple of projects with the polymer clay. And I think I could teach a class on that as well. Maybe I'll do a video tutorial on YouTube or maybe I'll go to Michael's. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I want to learn a little bit more about creating thumbnails, things like that. Anyway, so yeah, I write all this stuff down. I have crazy ideas, and I write them all down. And then I realize how crazy my ideas are and how much work they would be to implement and how much, like, oh, you know, anxiety I would have over them all. And, uh, and I try and scale things back a bit. But then, you know, I'm a dreamer, so I push forward anyway. I keep going, I keep going forward. I keep wanting to do more and more and more um, because I'm a dreamer. And then I like, I tear my hair out because I'm also, I also have anxiety <laughs> of all the things that I want to do. Show your tile projects, Amaya. Okay, 
Uh, actually, I can only show you one because <clears throat> the rest of them are packed up and getting ready to mail out. I am, oh, I could, no, I can't show you. I can show you, um, the other one is upstairs. I gave it to my mom. I can show you one that I kept. Hold on. We have six people watching. Say hello, everyone. If you haven't said hi in the chat, please say hi in the chat. This is uh, one of the ones that I created. I may still send this out. Are you there? Oh, no. Are we still there? Uh, okay, I, I got, um, uh, I got stopped for a minute. I'm sorry. Take a look at this. So this is a multimedia project. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. some stuff a little closer because I need to plug my phone in before it dies. So um, it's a clay tile project and um, I learned all about it. Oops. This summer Sorry if I'm making you guys sick. At an art retreat. And, uh, oh no, you guys still there? So, uh, yeah. A lot of these tiles are actually, <laughs> most of these are Patty Tolly Parrish's tiles. She had uh, a big... Are you guys still there? I just need to, I need some affirmation <laughs> if everyone is still there. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, yeah, most of these are Patty Tolly Parishes. She had a, a, a vat <laughs> filled with tiles that she had made previously and she said that we could pick from them and take what we wanted. Uh, this is, I made this one. Uh, I made the white, the ones with the white backgrounds, the ones with the gems on them. This one, this one, this one, this one, that one. Uh, yeah, and the rest, Patty Tolly Parish made. Yep. <laughs> oh, no, I made this purple one. And this purple one. Yep. Uh, and these are um, glass tiles that I got from, uh, what's that company name? Maryland Tile Company? I don't know. And, uh, hey, um, CB, do you remember this stamp? I think this was one that I borrowed from Charlene Marabito. It's this one, it's, this is the same stamp, this is the same one. I would love to get this stamp if I can figure out who the manufacturer is. Uh, because it just, it really works well with the Swarovski crystals. And uh, yeah, I need to get my hands on it. So, and these are, I didn't get this from that Maryland tile place that Patty recommended. Um, uh, but I got it somewhere online, and they were really inexpensive. Uh, these are glass tiles. These are plastic or I don't know what, but shiny tiles. They were super inexpensive. I got a lot of these beads from them as well. Um, 
but I'm really happy with the way all of them turned out and um, and it just really it 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 totally floats my boat uh, working with these tiles and creating in this way so I'd like to do more of it Thanks, CB. I appreciate that. It has a really unique look to it. This, this right there, this is it also right here. And it just works well, again, with the, the Swarovski crystals. And I think this, um, Gail Tuthill made a comment. She said it looks like jewelry. And that just... I'm like, well, that's a great idea. <laughs> so, so yeah. All right, folks. That's all I can think of for the moment. Um, anybody have any questions for me? Oh, hold on. Speaking of buying stuff and keeping it, keeping it in your stash until you use it, I'd like to show you something that fits that bill. Hold on. Sorry for the shaking. Okay. So I bought this about a year ago when I saw a video from Christina Werner. And I had to have it. I paid full price for it. I ordered it as soon as I saw the video. I harassed the company. When am I going to get it? When am I going to get it? When am I going to get it? Until I got it. <laughs> and I uh, haven't touched it since. So what this is, it comes with uh, the dies and the, um, the stamps right here. It's basically just a die that cuts... Um, a big nail polish bottle sized card and all the accoutrements that go with it and the layers and this is a bow and uh, here's the sentiments that go with it and I had to have it I bought it paid full price which was a lot of money you do <laughs> yes I was gonna show the Christmas cards that I got so far isn't it really beautiful I have so many embossing folders and I would, pro if I saw this in a store, I would probably pass it up because I have so many embossing folders, but look how beautiful that is. And you know, sometimes it's the simplest things that are just the most stunning. That's so well done, Gayla. And on the inside, look even better. She gave me an embossed piece of tissue paper, but look. It's all it is, is die cuts. And look how amazing. I'm sure this is the Tim Holtz die cut. She put a little moon up there against the navy sky. A lovely medallion. She did an amazing job, right? Punched out sentiment. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So her studio is called Gatera. I think, yeah, Gatera. Absolutely beautiful. Excellent job. And then here's a card I got also that I wanted to show you guys. <clears throat> and um, if this is not in your wheelhouse, I apologize. I'm not a particularly re religious person. Yes, even Merry Christmas is a die cut. I'm not a particularly religious person. Um, I call myself more than spiritual. But um, I just got this card recently and I just, I really loved it as well. Christ came among us in littleness and poverty. And he taught us that whatever we do to the least of his brothers and sisters, we do unto him. And I think that's, that's the key to the whole message of, Jesus Christ. 
whatever your belief is, uh, it's really the key to the message to humanity. And uh, this is from the Little Sisters of the Poor. Little Sisters of the Poor is uh, a worldwide organization. They have a residence in the Bronx, um, and they take, of, take care of the elderly poor in that residence, and um, it's, one of my, it's one of the charities that I support. <clears throat> and um, I learned about them when I was working with another employer. I was with them a long time, but they, they basically did, um, they had a bunch of charities come in and these are qualified, vetted charities come into the office and the charities would tell you about themselves and um, tell you, you know, who they were and what their mission was and um, uh, so that was one of the charities I cho chose. But you could, they basically did a payroll withdrawal every month in the amount that you designated. And I think periodically they would send the total amount um, to your specified charity. And I, I thought that was a really wonderful uh, benefit of working for that company. And it was helpful uh, because um, I, you know, I do charitable donations, but really nothing. Uh, like this before I had done that. They just took, took, took the money out of your paycheck and sent it to them. And um, that was helpful to me. Anyway, <laughs> that's it. Um, so the whole purpose of me showing this to you was, yeah, never used it. Had to have it, never used it. So that's that. So how is everybody doing today? And uh, I hope you guys all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and are getting ready for the Christmas holiday and for the year-end holidays and all the good things. We've got eight people watching. Who's out there? You're sending your cards out on Monday, Carol? Good for you. I think I have pretty much all my cards done as well. Uh, I just have to finish that one paper pad, and uh, once I get that done, and... Hi, lurkers, exactly. <laughs> once I get that done, I can uh, send out all my cards as well as the packages that I have to send out. So, um, yeah, say hi in the comments. Click like. Oh, somebody left. Sorry. I was embarrassing you. Sorry. <laughs> Click like. Click like and subscribe. Do all the things. How's the weather out there? It's getting a little uh, dark outside now, but it's like 4.16. Yeah, I guess so that's about the time that it starts getting dark out now. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, Paige, you're the one that got your cards done. Very good. Oh, no, no. Carol and Paige got their cards done. Very good. I got a good number of cards done with uh, Beth's Crafty Christmas Collab. I was able to get a bunch of cards done. And um, with the with Alicia's uh, sheet load, I was able to be get, get a bunch of cards done as well. So actually, maybe I have enough cards to start mailing things out. And I should do that. Hi, Amy. <laughs> no, Amy, I know you're not creeping or lurking. Nice to see you, Amy. Hope all is well. I hope you finally got that paper pad I was supposed to send you. <laughs> Don't worry, Amy. CB's Carol's harmless. <laughs> I'm 
Is anybody else sending out Christmas cards this year? Homemade Christmas cards? They are. Hello there. Uh, let's see. Pandora's box is... Hold on, hold on. Um, is it Dora? No. It Dot. Is that you, Dot? Yes, Dorothy. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for joining. I really appreciate it. I was here talking about my crafty goals, and then we got into just a whole bunch of other nonsense. Like some Christmas cards I got. This is from Gala. This is from uh, a charity I support. And then this is from, uh, this is me. I made that. Dr. Dot. Yeah, so I might have enough Christmas cards to get ready to send out. I see. Dot's making hers starting tomorrow. Do they have far far away to go when you mail them, Dot? Are you mailing uh, uh, domestically or internationally? I think uh, I'm pretty sure I'm only going to send mine uh, domestically. Both, okay. Although I could send a Christmas card to family I have in in Italy. And I have a friend in London, not London, England. All right, anybody, everybody, I would love to stay and chat, but I don't want to bore you guys to tears. Uh, I don't have anything else planned unless you want you want to watch me sign my Christmas cards and I don't think so. Yeah, it's okay if the international folks get, get it after the date. They don't celebrate Christmas the way we do uh, in Europe. Um, although Italy is getting to be very uh, Americanized in the way that they promote. Um, it's, it's getting a little bit more commercial, let's say. Not, not that I've been there, but... From what I can tell on social media, I, I haven't been there in years. Okay, folks, I'm going to say good night or goodbye for the moment. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Oh, thank you so much, Deb. I appreciate that. Um... I love Christmas too, I really do. I love it especially with kids around. Uh, there's real magic there, you know, with kids and Christmas. And I have some very fond memories of my brother's kids and, and Christmas. Goodbye CB, goodbye everyone, bye Deb, thank you. Dot, Dr. Dot, thank you for joining. Uh, this is my first live, so maybe I'll do a few more. It wasn't that painful. Um, Paige, thanks so much for joining. Brandy, thank you so much for joining. Good to see you too, CB. Uh, who else was here? I'm sorry if I'm missing anyone else. Thank you again, guys. Thanks so much for joining. Happy Christmas to you too. God bless everybody. And I hope to see you all soon. Bye, Amy. Say hello to your son for me. I think that's it. I think I've acknowledged everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. How do I turn this off now?